just in case you didn't see what that was saying. I'm talking about affiliate marketing 2020. January 8th and I've made $325 so far. I did this with affiliate marketing and I wanna freaking talk about it. I'll get back to what I actually used to do this, but I'm mainly making this video for anybody who has the slightest interest in wanting to use affiliate marketing to make some extra money. I needed my board back. So I've wrote some big things I wanna talk about when it comes to affiliate marketing this year, if you wanna win big. And if you don't take action on what I'm gonna say in this video, set your computer on fire now. First, I wanna talk about branding. If you're gonna do affiliate marketing, I don't care what niche you're in, you've got to come up with a good brand for yourself because branding is, it's at a level now where you just have to have it. I've been doing affiliate marketing full time for the last six, seven years. And I remember when I first started out, branding has always been important, okay? Don't get me wrong, but at that time, um, at least especially in the niche that I'm in with affiliate marketing, people were really just looking for um, kind of somebody who was relatable in a sense. They didn't have to be branded 100%, you know, and everything like that, and you can do pretty well. The level of even the average person um, when it comes to affiliate marketing now versus when I first started has majorly stepped up. Branding yourself has never been more important. There's a lot of people making great content now. It's not all trash. But at the same time, a lot of people are kind of sounding the same, even though everybody's quality overall has stepped up. So um, making sure you, you stick out right now with affiliate marketing is huge. And one big way to do that is having a, a building a solid brand behind yourself. Next, I wanna talk about action takers. In the past, I remember making videos you know, explaining why people should really hit the ground running with affiliate marketing because not everybody and their mom knew about it. At the time, it was really easy to take advantage of SEO. Um, it was really easy to make your content stick out from everybody else and a lot of other things. And I remember saying things like, look, there are gonna be some people who are gonna watch these videos that don't take action and some years are gonna pass and you're gonna start to realize wow, I should have taken advantage. We're actually getting to that point now. I can clearly see it. The level at which um, affiliate marketing has been taken to is on a whole nother uh, level, pretty much. People are starting to realize that affiliate marketing is a legit business. It can make you real money. And now people are trying to flock to it. I'm not saying that, okay, it's too late to do affiliate marketing. You can't make money with it. No, I'm just saying like the action takers are here and if you want to win big with affiliate marketing, branding, and you have got to double, you have, when I say hit the ground running, that's like an understatement. I gotta really circle this one right here, okay? The small tricks and traffic hacks and little things you were able to find, I remember at least when I first started, you were able to discover that people didn't really know about and you could really run with it for a while and people not really catch on. Um, yeah, that's over. Yeah, that's something you should try your best to really get out of your mind and stop looking for pretty much completely. Look, I understand everybody wants fast money and what I really have wanted people to really understand when they're gonna you know, go into affiliate marketing is you actually can make money fast, but it's not gonna be necessarily with shortcuts, especially now. We're almost in a weird place where it's like out with the new stuff and back in with the old stuff. Um, bigger long-term strategies is really what you're gonna wanna be trying to learn in 2020. Maybe you're asking, okay, what types of marketing strategies are long-term that you should be focusing on right now? So it's kind of almost applying old tactics to kind of new platforms that we're seeing right now. Content marketing is back. And the reason why I say it's back is because there was a phase with affiliate marketing a few years ago where the little, like I said, small hacks, traffic hacks, and cool little tips and tricks you can do to get some fast traffic, tra uh, fast results, um, that kind of took over for a little bit. But now the long-term stuff is like really coming back and that's gonna be your blogging, your video marketing. Um, if you are doing your organic stuff with like the social media platforms like Facebook and things like that, being extremely consistent with your audience with this is like, it's just huge. So let me give you kind of more practical uh, advice or whatever, especially since you're watching this video at this point and you don't have an attention span of a goldfish. I'm, I'm revealing this as almost a little bit reluctant to reveal this, but uh, I am here because if you're watching this video so far, 
uh, yeah, I mean, you deserve to know this information. So more of an actionable uh, step I can actually give you here is like using something like TikTok. New platform, but you can definitely apply this content marketing with TikTok right now and affiliate marketing in whatever niche you're in and completely crush it. And I'll be making a little bit more videos about that in the future. Not right now, because I'm not gonna, just not gonna reveal a whole lot, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, I started paying attention to Gary Vaynerchuk, okay? He, I mean, he starts talking about TikTok and I've noticed he's had a trend of being right with these things. And I went on there, started looking up my niche on there and lo and behold, uh, there are people killing it with uh, affiliate marketing using TikTok. Getting views, likes, a following, and everything like that on TikTok is extremely easy because of the way the algorithm is set up, and I'll maybe make a video about that on, on a different day or something. TikTok's a new platform, but if you go on there and apply kind of what people are trying to do now on YouTube, on TikTok, and again, I, I can go a little bit deeper into this, this is just a quick video kind of giving you my thoughts on what you should really be doing in 2020. Like I said, you will crush it. And then you're able to take that following into other platforms. The other thing is paid ads. Um, I don't wanna say this, cause I don't wanna scare people away, but I'm gonna say it anyways, because I know that the type of person I'm really trying to reach is somebody who's not gonna be scared off by this anyways, no matter what position they're in uh, right now. If you're really wanting something kind of quick, you know, uh, as far as getting results with affiliate marketing, paid advertising pretty much can't be ignored. We're in a place where, like I said, when I first started, organic traffic was like the way, the only, I mean, like that's just what you wanted to do. And it still is extremely profitable and you wanna do both first off. But if you're wanting to really skip the learning curve that most people have to go through when it comes to organic traffic and also kind of bypass a lot of people, um, paid traffic on certain platforms is pretty much where you want to really focus on for those of you really serious. Now, that doesn't mean you have to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars, you know, every month doing it. You can start out with five dollars, um, seriously. But I, I'm going to say for those of you who are really interested in making a lot of money with affiliate marketing, paid ads um, is something that a lot of the, you know, if you really pay attention, a lot of people are actually using now to even build a brand. It used to be, you know, where you would do like organic um, content and, and things and strategies to build a following, which again, still works great. If you're on like the newer platforms using content marketing methods, as far as providing really good value, being consistent and all that kind of stuff, paid ads is what can, will save you time. In the beginning, if you can get past the beginning stage of paid ads, which is a little rough, you're gonna spend money, you're figuring things out and everything like that, you're building kind of a brand um, with paid ads and, and you have to stick through that phase <laughs> and it can be a little bit tough. If you can actually do that, you're gonna get to the point where paid ads just is, are really really paying for themselves. If you're somebody in the biz op niche like I am and you're an affiliate marketer and you did wanna see what I'm using to uh, make that money that I was showing you earlier in the video, you can click the link in my video description below to check that out if you want, because it's going to take you through a process of actually really learning the exact stuff I'm talking about in this video. The things you really want to learn um, when it comes to setting yourself apart, when it comes to affiliate marketing and winning. If you're wanting something not only that's going to work now, but also long term, there are certain strategies you're going to find with that link in my video description below that you're not necessarily going to find uh, on YouTube, on Google, you know, and things like that. And the people who take action on those are the ones who are going to win and are and, and who are consistent with the strategies are the ones who are going to win. So it is also a system you can make money with, so you can check it out. If you don't want to, hey, I hope this video helped in some way, shape or form. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm done talking.